<laughs> the first part of that that's that gets quiet. Should I think it just go to the, the keyboard maybe, kind of like it does on. That's the cool. Yeah, just let it leave it on. Like on the last O, just yeah. stop. Yeah. But you think let it ring a little loud. My relationship with music comes full circle when I get to do something like this, because this is what inspires, and the reason I got into it ever to begin with. It was a mind-blowing thing to watch Eric for the first time. I was at a sort of party. Hart had actually played one of those benefits beforehand, and um, they invited us back because it was like, you gotta come see this guitar player. So um, it was really like jaw-dropping. Somebody did the homework on the cool guitar playing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a purest thing I can appreciate stylistically, you know, what he's tapping from. So we were fast friends, of course, too, because yeah. we have a lot of that in common. You know, Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan and Beatles, David Gilmore. <sighs> Ooh, David Gilmore. So for me, you know, just having a chance to get in the same room with Eric and play together, it would be a why not kind of a thing. <laughs> just how to out. find a way to be, you know, in the same room, same time. Yeah, I would love to find a tune that you could lead it on guitar, you know, yeah. on acoustic. Yeah. That'd be awesome. So. Like. For me, like, I, I mean, yeah. it's a trip. I mean, Maybe as we've same. gotten to be friends, you know, Something. to me, she's just Nancy. But at the same time, like, I grew up, like, <laughs> like doing the theme to Crazy on You. Like, my dad had Dreamboat <laughs> Annie. I think one of the things, when you hear players nowadays, it's a few more generations separated, so it's like, almost feels more derivative. But when I play with you, like, yeah. you're more plugged into, like, the source. Uh, maybe Eric's got the lead on this verse here. We have three songs now that we're, we've been working on. We're thinking about, like, well, how would this honor the original? But not imitate. Yeah, I mean, it's cool because if you're covering a song correctly, you're figuring out how they were thinking when they wrote it. Why don't, you, why don't we groove on that intro section? Just the, yeah. just the three of you guys sit for a minute and find that, and then, and then we'll start throwing in the, 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 the groove thing. Billy, we play that, just that first level opening thing. Seems like, like that intro could be way extended. Oh yeah, totally. So and, get the groove going. Yeah, and, and, and then I don't know if that's the that the, would be the lyric that we'd sit on in the beginning. I think it might even be the O's <clears throat> later. Oh, in other words, so and don't come in with a boom. Yeah. But we'd sit on the groove and then whoa, 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 whoa. Right. that's like the now the new Yeah, it's, and then it's that oh. stop and it's in. It'd be nice oh, to yeah. have an arrangement that was easy to remember, too. Yeah, and I think and that's the other thing, too. Is Stuff like really the clubhouse is rare. It becomes more rare as time goes on. There's a more recent way of putting music together. It sounds compartmentalized. Yeah, send you a track and paste your thing on it and send it back or whatever. It's just like... Construct a sound. Right. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And when I get to play with you, it's like a conversation. A conversation with yeah. guitars. That's why I had to come here, you know. Like, let's figure it out on the spot as we go. We want to maybe do... How to do it our way and make it sound like us. Exactly. Um, same thing? From yeah, the, from the top, so it's three rounds of the, uh, the chorus. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I just see it as a great learning experience. I mean, I've been a musician my whole life, but at the same time, like, I don't have nearly the depth of experiences you've had. <laughs> but like, <laughs> don't like, go, th don't but, go there. <laughs> Whoa, Turn back if I hold on you. a second. Come on the brakes. No, but it's like I'm around some pretty heavyweight <laughs> writers and musicians and stuff. It's like, let just see what they say. Yeah. 
you know, I have my abilities, I have things that like David can see that I can do that I don't even realize. Like, you know, I feel like I can get out of the way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that's, like that's important. Trust that? goes both yeah. ways, and David makes you comfortable. It feels honest, real, not in any way constructed out of a sense of image making, star making machinery. You know, even though in Hollywood sometimes it's different, a lot of producers are real egomaniacs and it's more about whatever hits they can get. So the pressure that I have felt over the decades actually, from time to time, has been daunting, you know. But here, nobody's putting on airs or, or just pretending there's something they're not. It's just refreshing to see humans just showing each other their humanity. Right. Um, faults and all, you know. And super fun, just yeah. super fun. When, once we got into like a, a rhythm of working together, right. it just starts knocking it out. And then when it does, it gets up and starts walking on its own. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs>